Like we still living off the same amount of money, but we have we spending more on everything. So it's kind of hard. A trip to the supermarket this weekend will probably give you sticker shock. Inflation is making just about everything more expensive at the grocery store. Take a look at some of the price increases for common grocery items in the last three years. Coffee, a must for so many of us, is up 30 percent. Soft drinks, now 36 percent more expensive. And if you're in the mood for a snack, potato chips up 34 percent. And if you think that's bad, News 5's Cameron Justice explains that the increases are even more dramatic for meat. Smoke products like your bacon and At ham. At Koshin Meats, there are plenty of protein of, options. An assortment of uh, pork and But like most and things in life, the products being prepared have been impacted by inflation. Yeah, I mean, it definitely, like things, simple things have gone up so much. And, you know, just even just the basic staples of everything. I do hear customers, you know, saying, oh my gosh, everything is expensive. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the price of pork chops has risen by nearly a dollar a pound since 2019. Chicken breast by more than $2 a pound and uncooked beef by nearly $3 a pound. Now, Koshin Meats is seeing shoppers change their choices. I do see a lot more trend where people are buying in bulk, storing it for the month, so that way they have it, and when they can purchase it again, they come back. They're being more economical about what they're purchasing for their families. Pick it up! <laughs> Those trends include customers like Sam Spain, who's buying in bulk for his barbecue restaurant. I mean, just say, like, hamburgers used to be, like, um, $18 a pack, they like $30 a pack. Hot dogs used to be like $15 a pack, they like $30 a pack. Everything is like almost double. Sam has struggled with the impact of meat prices on his business. Very hard, very hard. Thought about giving up. The impact is also being felt by customers doing personal shopping, like Karen Elliott, who works at the butcher shop. Um, I'm purchasing a little less than what I used to purchase. I'm buying more in bulk where I can save money by the pound. Karen has found ways to stretch her dollar and still feed her family with rising food costs. And I like to buy big meats like a pork shoulder or a roll, something that you can stretch with vegetables and stuff like that. EW? Koshin Meats has been in business since before the Great Depression, so it's seen customers survive economic hardships before. EW? Yeah. And it has some tips for consumers struggling with the impact of inflation. You know, if the best thing to do is to buy in bulk, buy in the family packs, um, you know, uh, buy in the cases. If you have the space and you have the money, buy a deep freezer. Be able to, you know, buy in, so you can buy in bulk. That way, you know, you can stretch it out and be able to feed your family. It's Cameron Justice with that story. And at a time when so many people need food, a lot of it's going to waste, right? Forbes magazine says 40% of the food in our country does go to waste. That's 100 billion pounds of food worth $400 billion every year. Meanwhile, hunger affects roughly 38 million Americans, including 12 million children.